one day we were like at the top of this hill, my companion and I, and we had this, we had like this plan to go, I think go visit someone or just drop by. But we also had like a side plan of visiting someone else. And so we were like, well, we, need, we should pray about it. So we like prayed and we were talking about it. And she's like, well, I think we should, we should go visit this woman, um, like the backup plan. And we were like, I was like, okay, like, yeah. But we both felt really unsure. So we prayed again. And then we were like, no, we're just, no, let's go the other way. And then we still felt confused, so we prayed again. And we're like, no, no, we need to go visit the other lady. So we're like, okay, but we don't have anything to like bring her. Cause in order, like, I don't know. We needed like an excuse. Like, you know, we needed to bring her treats, her excuse to visit her. So we're like, well, let's go to the store. And we're like, no, no, like I feel guilty going to the store cause it's not preparation day. Like, no, like this is a good cause. Like <laughs> we're doing this for her, we're gonna go. So anyways, it was just funny how we were like, we spent a long time at the top of the hill, you know, like trying to figure this out. And so we, we ride down the hill to the grocery store and we go inside, we get the chocolates, we come out and we're writing a note on the bike, like on the bike seat. And this man comes by and so this woman was less active, right? And so this man comes by and he sees the stickers on our bike that said Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And he's like, Hey, I know that church. And we're like, oh, cool, cool. Like, right? Like, oh, good. Like, how do you know it? And he's like, oh, my wife is a member. And we're like, what? Like, who's your wife? Because we thought, you know, like, we just know her from the ward. And he says the name of the less active we were going to go visit. And we were like, what? Like, we didn't, we didn't know where she lived. We only knew um, where she worked, you know? And so we're like, oh, my gosh, like, we were literally just gonna go visit your wife. And he was like, oh, that's crazy. Like, yeah, she would love to see you guys. And we're like, yeah, okay. And he's like, you know, like, can I get your number? Like, we can, maybe you can come over sometime to our house. And we didn't have her number either. So we're like, oh my gosh, like, yeah. Like, okay, so we're exchanging numbers. And he's like, yeah, like, I'll totally talk to her. You guys can come over anytime. And so we are just like blown out of the water. So we like give him, the treats to give to her instead of visiting her. Then like we get a text from him like five minutes later, like telling us like, yeah, like come over for dinner tomorrow night. And we were just like, oh my gosh, like this is nuts. So it was like, it's funny because we were like so unsure of it, but just like trusted in it and followed it. And a miracle happened. It was just like, we couldn't have planned that. It was definitely like Heavenly Father, you know, it was cool.